Hey, hope everyone's doing well. Um, I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm, I wouldn't say I'm in the mood, but it's as good as I'm going to get. Um, let's look at example number 11. Um, so I'm just, I'm pretty sure that's the next one. I did this one before. This is the next one on the list. And uh, it's a lit, this one's, it's a good one. It's, th this curve is the one that's a bit tricky. And um, I'll show you how we would tackle this. Uh, but again, uh, I know you should be able, I don't know who you are out there, but you should be able to give this one a lash um, first and see how far you can get into it. And then if you're having trouble with it, then you should be watching this video. So, um, excuse me. I'm going to go new, sheet set, manufacturing imperial, and this is our paper space. And I'm going to go into model, and uh, let's turn on the old grid, very nice. And let's go back and have a look at this lad here. And I, I'll tell you what my brain is thinking. I'm thinking I want to get these two um, slots in here. And then I'm thinking I want to get the position of those two holes. And I probably want to go after this. These big curves are what I'm going to do last. So um, let's say this point here is our origin. And we have um, 0.76 is the diameter there. And 1.25. Okay, let's have a look. 0.76. So let's start with that. So I'll, I'll get myself a new layer and we'll call it construction one. All right, and let's let's make this lad uh, our first um, our for, our first layer, and we'll draw. Um, a, no, it wants to know where. We, let, let's get a construction line, and I'm going to go. What's the first point? Zero comma zero. And now make sure you have your um, polar tracking on. What that you know what that does? Snaps to there. And snaps it there. If your guy is swinging around and it doesn't lock in, you you got to turn this lad on here. Polar tracking, you know that. So I'll go back to um, zero. Well, look, look, let's not let's slow it down a little bit. How 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 high do we want to go up here? One point two five, and I'll get um, offset. One point two five, and there we go. One point two five from there to there, and I'll get zero circle that's the guy we want there now d for diameter 0.76 and another circle d for diameter press enter because it'll just take the last um value ed entered lovely i'll get myself a line come on now so from there to ah stop let's try that again so from there to there and from there to there lovely and i'm going to get the old look and uh, before we get the trim going we'll draw the other ones and we need uh 1.5 it's two times 0.75 let's zoom in here a little bit there we're now we're talking two times 0.75 radius of circle 0.75 and we'll do the same again press enter lovely and we'll get the line going also look i'm not really going over anything really new at this stage you know uh, there's no harm in going practicing um going over stuff you now i shouldn't be do taking those lines out let's go one ah, let's try that again trim press enter click <clears throat> now and then i'll grab these guys and i need to trim let's try that again one two three come on now there we go all right so i got the curve slot in um all right what's next so we want to come over 5.5 .5 and up 2.75 from there and that should give us that location so to 5.5 so let's get uh, the zero and let's go offset 5.5 from there over and then uh, 2.75 there you go now we're now we're cooking 
And what size circles do I need? I need uh, the 0.75 and the 1.5. I can remember that. There we go. Um, radius 0.75. And yeah, I thought I could remember it. And then, uh, and then I'm going to need diameter 0.75. So D for diameter 0.75. Lovely. So that's that. Um, let's get rid of those. Ah, you know, let's get rid of some of these lines here. And we need, um, so from here, I ah, see I need it already. From that line up there, 1.25 and 3.4. I need to get these circles. Let's go back and undo everything I just did. Offset. 1.25. I have a hard time remembering these numbers. 3.14. Uh, 3.4. Wasn't it? It was 3.4. Yeah, lovely. And then we're here, and we have two circles there as well. And it's 0.56 and 0.5. Let's start with the 0.5. So we go here. D for diameter, 0.5. And then we need another one. Or, ash, I can't remember, or for radius. Let's try that again. Circle. Click there. Radius to circle 0.56. Let me just check that. Radius is 0.56. Right. Um, so there's your locations, and then we have the big curves going between them, which I haven't really covered. So this, this, this should have no trouble with this. Now let's look. This is a bit of a beast here. Let's, we'll figure him out in a sec. Um, I'm trying to think now. We need how are we going to do this? Hmm, we have this curve here, and that it looks like it's the same curve that comes all the way around. So we have a curve, it's a radius six that starts here that swings around. It does a tangent relationship with this top circle, with this circle, and it does a tangent relationship with that. Now watch this. I'm going to get a tan tan radius circle. The first one's going to be tangent to here. The next tangent is going to be here, and the radius of the circle is going to be six. Look at that magic. I'll do it again. So I get a circle, a tan tan radius. So this we know that it's tangent to there, and we know that it's tangent to there. If you can't remember what tangent means, it means that it touches the circle is going to touch this circle at only one point and same there. And you use stuff like this all the time. The radius of the circle is six. Where did I get that from? Right here. So just let, let's leave it there. And I need to draw a line. From that quadrant all the way down. From there all the way down to there like so. And I need a curve that goes. Okay, now th this is going to be a bit tricky. Now, I need a curve that is tangent to there. And is tangent to there. And has a radius of point three, a radius of point three eight. So I'm going to get another one. Tan tan radius, tangent to here, tangent to there, the radius is going to be 0.38, magic. And then I'm going to do a fillet for this one. I'll show you, I'll do a fillet, or for radius, 0.38. I'm going to click one there and one there, look at that, lovely. And I'm going to tr get our trim going, press enter to select everything. No, 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 let's try that again. Trim. Press enter to select all. One. Two. Th three. I'm just trimming all of these. Look at that. I'm telling you. All right. Um, and then we need to trim this bit of it away and that bit of it away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... What's this? Hold on. Turn off the construction line. I hit the, the owl... Um, light bulb, hit teeth, trim, enter. There we go. Now, 
lovely all right let's turn on let's go back here let's turn on the light bulb all right um that's that easy bit now this is the hard bit we have a curve there that comes to we have one curve there and then we have another curve Oof, this is tough what are we gonna do it this is gonna if i can't figure this out this is gonna be embarrassing i need i need to get a line 1.25 down so let's start with that it's been a while since i've done this one so let's get rid of this line and let's put in a line that's 1.25 so we know we're on there this line somewhere okay all right some i know there are people out there and your brains are screaming at you, you know exactly how to do this um but you have to remember that it's 9 30 in the morning for me and my brain is not awake so we know that and it's also saturday so um we have to touch that circle there and it's 1.25 hmm. hmm. this is embarrassing how are we going to do we have a we need to draw the big circle this circle here once we get that big circle then this guy will come into play so it's it's really i know from there to there is 1.75 plus one so it's 1.75 so if i if i have there's probably an easier way but i know from there to that circle is 0.75 and from there to there is um one so if i draw a circle with a radius of 1.75 it should line up with that point i don't know there's probably an easier way but let's do that let's get a normal circle from there and we go radius 1.75 and this is our man right there that point there is where our, I, I think now we go radius one uh, radius oh yes I'm not I haven't made a total fool of myself on the internet and um, and then we have this radius 4.2 so what do we do we go back here um, tan tan radius there's one there's another one radius 4.2 lovely and we'll turn off the construction do you know it's like these are good brain things brain activities to keep you keep you from, keep you from getting too senile keep me from getting too senile i press enter i'll get rid of that i'll get rid of this i'll get rid of get rid of that and I'll, I'll just delete this guy you know why you would do that in real life i'm not sure sometimes you might have a situation like that where i don't know why you'd have that but um in a design but i think that's i think that's everything now what's next we'll go new layer um we'll go uh, new layer we'll call this dimension one we'll get the green or whatever color you like cyan is good and i'll double click on it to make it my current layer i'm going to go annotate center mark look at that lovely lovely very nice let's let's get a big center mark let's right click on this guy and go um turn it off and so let's go back here and uh, let's get a couple of dimensions in so from there to there one point let's let's have a look see what i would do if i was in your shoes is i would get a print screen of this well or you can print it out i've given you the, the dimensions uh, in the pdf it should be there print it out and mark it off right i got the 1.25 what's next the point three eight. 
you get your six inches. Take your time, do a nice job with the dimensioning. And we'll go from there to there, 5.5. .5. And what else? We need to go from maybe here to there, 4, lovely. It's looking good. There's no harm in going from there. To there, ah, no, I don't want that. All right, come on now, three point four. What else are we missing? We need a height, so from there to there, two point seven five. Very nice. So we got the position of that guy. We have the position of this guy and that. Uh, we have the curve there now we need this lad and then i can maybe i can move him out can i move him out i don't want that here we go now we're no i don't want that yes. here we go that's better so we have those two uh, we have those two circles okay i need um From there, 4.2, that's good. Come on. On that. Very nice. Okay. So, uh, look, it's time to save it. I can't remember. Is this, is this, is this example number 11? AutoCAD. Example... 11 and um, what are we going to go to now oh, ANSI title block layout rectangular viewport I'm just going to press enter let's try to see if we can select it here we go enter and uh, a chap I can't remember his name he said you double click in here to get into model space then you turn off your grid so that was a nice little tip so I appreciate that I'm going to click on model to get out of it you're going to double click in here. This is your smart title block. You're going to change all these things here. Press apply and it will change our title block. I'm too lazy. It's Saturday um, to fill that in. But you guys are going to do it because it's important. Um, the other thing I was going to say, I may as well say it while I'm coherent enough. You should start building up a portfolio of drawings. Um, every job I've ever went for. Uh, I have an 11 by 17 binder of drawings tucked under my arm. I go in for the interview. I can pull them out. Um, typically, employers will say, yeah, you have a, you took a class at a college or you took a class at a high school. That's great. But have you really drawn anything? You know, what, 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 what can you do for us? You know, so you pull out your, your, your binder or your portfolio from under your arm. You show them your, your best drawings. And that's going to help you. It'll give you something to talk about in the interview. So, you know, at this stage, when you, um, you know, at this stage, when you start getting, this is this is still a little bit beginner now, let's be honest about it. But when you start building up good drawings, whether they be SolarWorks or whether they be AutoCAD or whether they be Revit, um, get yourself an 11 by 17 binder. They're about $15 in, in Amazon or wherever or your local um, store there. Get one. You know, maybe you can print them out at your college or, or your high school. If you don't have an 11 by 17 binder, an 8.5 by 11 inches or a size A or a size A4 will do the job. You know, so start printing them out and having them there because you never know when you'll get an interview. Okay? That's it. I'll see you. I'll see you. What's the next one we're going to do? We're going to do um, example number 12. So I'll just run through this. Look, it's a pretty lame looking drill. Um, ah, but it's not too bad. I did this a long time ago. Um, and I'll go through a lot of the different, there's a lot of different commands that kind of come together. Once we're done with that, we're going to start moving on to a little bit more hairier problems. But that's it. So take it easy, guys. Keep working on your AutoCAD. And I'll see you in the next video.